Alrighty, what's going on guys? I am back with Panthers Franchise. Today is episode 5 of the series. Checking out last week, week 5, we won 22-0. We absolutely shut out San Francisco. Great game. You should highly, I highly suggest you to watch that before you watch this video. And yeah, this week we're taking on the Los Angeles Rams away at Los Angeles. They are 3-2. and two. We are 4-0-1, and one, so we're technically still undefeated. We are now technically the best in the uh, NFC South. We are 4-1 in one tie with the Falcons and Buccaneers being 4-1, and one, and the Saints are 0-5. and five. So it's actually a pretty tough division between the top three teams. But yeah, that's what we got so far. Um, I'm going to go through the things on the side here, but there is a couple of trades that I want to make or a couple of things I want to do real quick, so... I will show you those as well. But the first thing, breakout DB, uh, a development trait. Hey, coach, uh, I have a question for you. How close have you been watching Jeremy Chin? Because he's been made some really big plays last week. Keep an eye on him on the Rams. If he continues to dominate, we might need something special back in their secondary. Who knew, right? Hold the Rams to less than 150 yards passing or get Jeremy Chin two plus interceptions or TF, uh, tackles for losses, force fumbles or sacks. Okay, this is very tricky because I looked before I started recording. The Rams have Cooper Cup, by far the best receiver right now in this franchise, by far the most touchdowns. He averages like 136 yards per game. He is absolutely a monster. I don't know how well they're going to play in game because, you know, how well kind of done the CPU is. But yeah, I'll probably use him. I'll probably lurk. And then if worst comes to worst, I'll just start rushing with him to try to get some tackles for losses or sacks. So yeah. Um, got players to upgrade. Who has got upgrades? Rashard Higgins, Shai Smith. Ike Mokwano is a big one. Is he back yet? He's out two more weeks, so two more games, and we can have probably our best lineman already back. I'm going to throw it into Agile. I really need him to develop over this course of the season because I really need a better line. Oh, also, I didn't see Matt Corral has an upgrade point. He's a 69 overall. This will put him up to a 70. I think we'll go field general just to get some accuracy in there. Um, awareness and throw accuracy deep. So, yeah, he's up to a 70 now. That's good. All right, weekly strategy. Um, the Rams, the Rams, the Rams. For defensive, I'm I'm easily going to go defend short pass because that's really all the CPU does. They're not going to have a good run game at all. I don't think they'll really, like run like anywhere like at all. So, throwing, I'd, I'm just going to stick to run outside. We can try to avoid uh, Aaron Donald and then avoid uh, Jair Alexander and that really good uh, um, secondary with just running outside. Talking about upgrades, um, upgrades point uh, for after um, weekly camp. Uh, Chris McCaffrey gets an upgrade point. He's already technically up to 99 overall because of morale, but I'll put it into elusive back just to get him more agile. He's at a 97 now. He'll be at a 99 no, in like no time. Um, another upgrade, Tommy Tremble and Jeremy Chin. Jeremy Chin's obviously a big one. He's about to be an already an 84 overall. That's really good. Throw him in a zone, and he's one way. He's one overall away from being an 85. That's great. I don't think I'm going to check out um, uh, college players today. Let's just get into that one trade that I was talking about before uh, we start the game. Alrighty, the trade we were going to do is Isaiah Thomas, not Isaiah Thomas, Ian Thomas, our backup tight end for Taysom Hill. I really do like Ian Thomas. I just wanted to spice it up, and I seen Taysom Hill was listed as a tight end. So I just threw him in there. And, I mean, he's faster. He can do basically everything. So I just want to stick with him make a make it pretty cool. A in-division trade, like uh, the Saints are still in our division, so it's pretty unrealistic for this to happen. But I just wanted to spice it up. All right, we got... Um, Taysom Hill in our lineup. Let's get into the game. Rams are 81 overall with more than three X factors. I'm pretty sure. I think they have one more. Um, uniforms. I think. Let's go. Uh, I'm not feeling all white, but I will f feel maybe white. Like yeah, white and black, and then they'll just go blue and yellow. Alrighty. Coming off one of his biggest games in both yards and touchdowns last week. It's the Rams and the Panthers, and it's coming up next on Madden Football.
fact, it's the National Football League presented by EA Sports. Today, we've got a Week 6 matchup for you here between the Carolina Panthers and the Los Angeles Rams. Alrighty, getting into today's game. Playing at SoFi, literally the coolest stadium of all time. And we kick off first. Alright, quick third down. Third down and four. Let's see if uh, they'll test deep. It's exactly why I don't want to use him, is because I'm going to try to... Yeah, fuck, I'm so dumb. Why did I do that? I was a deep safety, and I bit in down low to take like a, a slant off. I am so dumb. Why would I do that? Blocked kick. Yeah, oh my god, that's going to be two points. Two points easily for Xavier Woods. I don't know who broke that. I think that was uh, Uter Gross Matos, I think. But just like that, we have two points. Beautiful. All right, let's stick str true to the game plan and run the ball. We've been. Oh, why is Baker Mayfield starting? Um, we probably got to change that. Over the top, Rashard Higgins. Beautiful dot. Oh my god, the juke was nasty. Alright, I didn't want to throw it away because it'll be like some intentional grounding shit. Again, with Chris McCaffrey, I, I fixed, this, I fixed the, uh, the sliders even more, so... Either we have just the best line in the entire game, or Chris McCaffrey is just that guy, and I think it's just that Chris McCaffrey is that guy. All right, third and inches. Um, I mean, fourth and inches. Sorry, I'm just gonna go for it. There ain't no way I'm not gonna get it. Yeah, even the these people want me. Richie, the fullback. Oh, let's so do a fullback dive. Hell yeah, Richie. Oh yeah, plow forward for four. Over the Mitchell. Um, Mitchell over the middle uh, at the one I think that's just try to push it in with Christian McCaffrey he's dead tired how about a slant how about a slant to Rashard Higgins beautiful Rashard Higgins first touch on I think of the year and first touch on the game for Matt Corral <gasps> picked off by Jeremy Chin I, you, I read that like a book. First play of the game. Hell yes. Just like that, we have our ball out of their own 21. Thanks to the user lurk by Jeremy Chin. And let's just try to put this game away already. Easy dot. Taysom Hill. His first catch. I didn't even recognize him with the number 80. Taysom Hill, first touchdown in the Panthers' uni. Oh my god, that is so random. You're not shrugging those hit sticks off. Oh my god. Who is that dude? Is that Van Jefferson? I think it is. No, it's not. Oh, it's Akers. Bro's not doing that. I almost got mossed. And how did I not get sacked there? I think Frankie Lubu came screaming around the corner, but didn't get him for before first quarter. Yeah, they will. Oh, he'll fall forward for it. And we just completely missed like five tackles. Jesus. Where are you going, Dante Jackson? You were in the back of the end zone, dude. This AI has got to get better, dude. Oh, Chris McCaffrey, go. 
Go, go. Oh my god, ankle's broken. That's all the way to our 44. Like a 30-some yard run. Beautiful. Very close to an interception. Matt, uh, what's his face? Aaron Donald came screaming at Matt Corral. That's going to be uh, roughing the passer on Aaron Donald, I'm pretty sure. Yes, it is. And that's on our 19 already. I was just absolutely stiff-armed Aaron Donald. I lost six, though. That's not good at all. No matter. We got it back with Chris McCaffrey because Chris McCaffrey is Chris McCaffrey. Okay, we tried running for it, but obviously couldn't get it with Matt Corral. Fourth and five, really not going to feel like going for it, so let's just kick this in, get a six-point lead. Quick drive, but easy points. All right, Matthew Stafford is back on the field. Let's see what he can do with Jeremy Chin. Great stop. Sorry for the late response, but great stop by uh, Frankie Lubu. He's been playing out this year as well. Um, third and 12. Maybe easy third and out here. Three and out, sorry. Jeremy Chin, I came using around for the sack. He had all day. I don't know if it's two of each or two of one and one, but if that's the case, then that's already superstar X Factor or superstar ability for Jeremy Chin. All right, a really good chance to score here at the enemy's 49. Uh, yeah, two minute warning. Hopefully we can score here. That was jump. That's just too much air time. And almost a return right there. But yeah, way too much air time. If I had a lot more bullet velocity on that thing, I could have threw it lower and like got something with it, but not the case. Dude, I am so bad at this. I am so bad at this game using the safety. So bad. They already scored. I, dude, I'm so dumb. All right, just like that, they're up by two because I don't know how to use our safety. I'm really dumb. Kick return! Gunner Oslevski! Oh my god, a block in the back or flag. Why? Why does it have to be like that? Why? Why? Always. It's always got to be like that. It's so dumb. Yeah. Why, 84? God damn it, dude. So holding will scratch off some of that return. Yeah, scratch off some of it. We're at our own 19, dude. Dude, no way. How is that picked off? All right. You know what it's time for? Not options, but you know what it's time for. I think it's time for Baker Mayfield to come in. I think that it was second or third pick. Let's give Baker Mayfield a chance, I guess. All right, very big turn of events here. Through two straight interceptions with Matt Corral. Dude, I'm so bad! All right, we don't talk about that. Four uh, passing touchdowns for Matthew Stafford already. We don't talk about any of this. Uh, roughing the passer, but that was a great play by Chris McCaffrey. So good. Of course it's on our offense. Why wouldn't it be? Forty-seven seconds left of the timeout. And sack. The blitzes are just nasty, dude. Oh my. Go 
Where is that going? Oh my god, dude! This game! Uh, it's so annoying! Please just let me get to the half, please! This quarter has lasted forever! Just please! Alright, last play of the game is a field goal try for them. Hopefully they don't get it, but they do, they don't. Yeah, that was horrible. 1927 at the end of the half we get ball at half so let's hopefully just try to get back into it it's only we're only down by eight so let's try all right new half new game let's just try to slow it down and play it by our terms they have full momentum let's try to get rid of that as quickly as possible quick third and five already not good that's hopefully uh Oh, great catch. Chris McCaffrey, great catch. Thank God for not getting picked off. Go, Baker. Beautiful run by Chris McCaffrey, and we are already at our own our enemy's 26. Just like I wanted this game to have this drive to go nice and slow take it at our own pace and Baker's his escapability is beautiful first down I threw it away oh my god Jesus Christ! But beautifully up the middle. And that makes like a what, third and two? Makes it so much more doable. I'm gonna do it inside zone with Christian McCaffrey. Hopefully get this first down. Oh my God, keep going Christian McCaffrey, holy. Oh my God, nobody on the line on the right side. What kind of setup is that? Easiest touchdown. Second rushing touchdown for Christian McCaffrey already in this game. Beautiful. Uh, it wants me to go for it. I'm just going to do another inside zone. Let's see how they line up. Yeah, I think I can get this to tie it. Let's hope so at least. Oh, beautiful. Tied up. 27-27. We got ourselves a game. All right, a couple, uh, a couple of plays, and we got ourselves a third and four. Um, let's hopefully we can stop him. And we can't. Because Cooper Cup is white and he runs the shortest routes ever because he's unathletic and white. I can say that. I'm white, guys. If you guys didn't know. Or you can tell by my really white voice. One thing we're doing really well is stopping the run game, even though they barely run it. Pick off! Jeremy Chin! User Lurk again, second pick, that's Superstar Development, and that's a pick six. Huge game changer, Jeremy Chin, he deserves an X Factor for that. Oh, just biff the tackle, okay. Yeah, I mean, barely real big game changers, this is a really good game. Oh, how was that not picked off? Huge hit stick, but how was that not picked off? Uh, third and inches. Hopefully we get a stop. But we don't, because Cooper Cup is Cooper Cup. Like, how do you not tackle? You just fall right in front of them. Jesus Christ, why do my hit sticks never land? He just shrugs them off. All right, third and nine. Um, hopefully we stop him. We need to stop him right here. They go for a field goal. We take it nice and slow. And no one sits in the corner, and that's an easy Cooper Cup touchdown because no one even tried to guard him. All right, that's a tie game. Three minutes left. 
But this ball game is ours. We take it nice and slow like we did last drive, and we can easily just get a field goal and get out of this game alive. Third down and six. It looks like a dump off to Chris McCaffrey. And yep, beautiful. Um, we're at the uh, we're at the 50 yard line. Take it nice and slow. Get a couple passes in. Get to the uh, field goal marker, and it's beautiful. Oh my God, Christian McCaffrey, stop it! Oh my God, Christian McCaffrey, stop it! They're gonna start burning timeouts now. I don't know if that's good or bad, but. I wouldn't say we even try to score here, just let them waste their timeouts, waste even more clock, and we're good. If we keep running the ball like this, we're not, we're going to easily win. All right, third and two. They have no timeouts left, so even if I do not get this, which I think I did get it. Brady Christensen down again, but we do get it. So I'm going to put that into... Oh, it was an injury timeout, dang it. So I do one of these plays... Oh, okay. Um, didn't really mean to do that. Probably shouldn't have done that, but that's Chris McCaffrey's third rushing touchdown. I'm kind of okay with that. Let's get this field goal up. Kick it. And um, let's see if they can try to get a little drive going. Oh, my God. I'm going to go ahead and do that right there and just sit there because fumble... So dumb. We're gonna go kneel, and that's the game, folks. That was that was just a big, huge event right there. I didn't even get excited for that. And surprisingly, we remain undefeated against the reigning champs, the Super Bowl winning Rams. Great game, though. All right, looking at the player stats: Matthew Stafford throwing for 302 yards, five passing touchdowns, and two interceptions. That's pretty good. Matt Corral, 98 uh, passing yards, two passing touchdowns, two interceptions. He got benched for uh, Baker Mayfield. 97 yards, one interception. I don't know, not that great, but we did have Chris McCaffrey. Dude, he's just been beautiful. Um, two touchdowns, two rushing touchdowns. I thought he had uh, three, but one of them was a passing touchdown. But Chris McCaffrey, 124 yards. Two rushing touchdowns, 104 yards, zero passing touchdowns. Uh, that's completely weird. Who had the two uh, passing, uh, receiving touchdowns? Taysom Hill and Tommy Tremble are two tight ends. Dude, oh my God, I can't get over Chris McCaffrey being that good. But tackles, looks like Jeremy Chint and Corey Littleton. Tackles for losses uh, goes to, it looks like Leonard Floyd. Sacks, Jeremy Chin with one, and then two interceptions and a touchdown for Jeremy Chin. Easily my player of the game. Superstar X Factor. Two new injuries. I just looked over them, but I didn't. I didn't know I was. Uh, I wasn't recording, so I didn't see it. But Brady Christensen out for four weeks with a torn labrum, and then a something fracture on our right guard, Austin Corbett, right here. He is out as well. Our line is in shambles right now. But one good thing about today's episode, Jeremy Chin. Uh, superstar development. I'm going to develop so much uh, more faster. Um, let's see what ability I should put on him. I'm going to put Deflator on him. Seems like a pretty good upgrade. And then once he goes up next, a one overall next, probably next week, honestly, because he got superstar development with a bunch of XP. So he'll probably go up to an 85 overall uh, next week. He'll get another um, spot, uh, another upgrade spot. But yeah, that is it for today's episode. Hope you guys liked it as much as I do. Please comment and subscribe if you haven't already. And that is it for me, guys. See ya.